now movie view time. I got Soul Calibur 3 in the, on the TV over here, so to be at the TV, so I can uh, talk about this movie view before um, I get distracted by the game at the TV. But anyways. Where do I start anyways? Because um The Outside is actually a remake it's the American remake I believe of Untouchables, a French film. It's kind of related to that movie. Anyways, this movie was mixed at the reception. Reviews. Audience score on Martin Tomatoes seems to be like um Seem to be good because there was 80 percent. Um, before I get my rating for this movie, I need to uh, well, let's do with this. The disc. Ah. So for this movie, um, where do I start? I hadn't been getting a chance to play the other uh, video games in the bag called Chopper, but since it's not something to talk about, I mean, actually, I need to get to the movie video anyways. This guy is looking for work, uh, um, Dale, as I... Big heads up. What was that? They had, I think he had a wife and a boy. I think she raised, been raised the boy and not him. We'll see, not him. Anyways, oh, ladies, he's making noise, so please uh, don't. Please ignore the noise coming from the AC. Anyways, um, Dale has been. gets a. starts a unlikely friendship with this guy in a wheelchair, paralyzed, which is um, played by Brian Preston. Harrison, although he was not the best qualified person of the, the ones invited into, he was to do various things and uh, help up his leg, help him get places, and Yeah, this movie basically was. See ya. So yeah, Dale, the three friends, palace man. Let me see who was that guy. Philip. The the invaluable waste of the progress by by originator uh, the differences. Yeah, there was like a lot of laughs. Well, different things. You have to uh, transport, transport him everywhere. Help him with different things like help him get in bed, help him to get in the wheelchair. Just it also features Nicole Kidman too. The chemistry. Yeah. So I saw this in theaters at Regal, but unfortunately I didn't get to watch the whole movie in Re at Regal because due to some issues. Now, well, 
The movie itself didn't cause me to walk out. I think it was weather issues that. I think it was snow that tried it. Uh, so when I saw this movie in theaters, I had to leave uh, the. had to walk out. Not because of the movie, but the weather itself. Like I um, already said, but. But this movie wasn't. Uh, wasn't bad as crazy. I mean. It was, wasn't not not crazy, but I still kind of liked it though because uh, despite its good iron score, it has some rotten tomatoes. It's not certified fresh. Well, these January movies, uh, not much good uh, reviews from critics. I mean, not much positive reviews. Not mostly. Well, there's a movie called The Kid That Would Be King. I didn't see that movie though. Although it had was a box office bomb, I think this movie did find at the box office. But um, I know Escape Room was a box office hit. The Kid Will Be King wasn't a box office hit, despite uh, so, despite its status of certified fresh and rotten to me. But back to the actual movie. This movie um. Uh, yeah, this movie though, it's, it's the fourth remake of The Untouchables, but nonetheless, but I will try to watch that movie and see what that movie's like. This movie have gotten away with the PG-13 rating instead of the R rating that the other movie received. It was also inspired by a true story. Sorry about this movie review, but um... Yeah, this movie though. I'm gonna give it a three and a half out of five. Well, basically, this movie. It was just kind of the last. Yeah, and if Dale would have gone through strikes, he would be out. Thanks to the character. Uh, by the lady. But yeah. I'll see you for another book. I may have to redo this. Um, if I uh, redo this movie review, I may too. I didn't be really hoping, I didn't thought that I was gonna see what this movie was all about though. I even saw, well, the only movie by far this year that I saw in theaters that I couldn't see the whole thing by walking out. Anyways, that's it for this movie review.